Hey, girls. Walking down here, because I have to open a gate for the tree surgeons are here. We have a tree that's right there. You can just barely see it. That's completely dead. It's a big beech tree, but it's on the road. And as you can see, I have to let the tree surgeons through the gate where the sheep are. And I don't want the sheep to suddenly decide they all want to go out the gate at the same time. So there we go, that's what I'm doing. solid it'd be good fire it would love i'd love to make some boards out of it yeah, you don't have a board cutter do you we do yeah <gasps> you do, we do. Yeah, yeah. oh you might have to come back and cut some boards yeah for sure because oh, it's be worthwhile keeping some of that anyway well it's got a good straight bit yeah. up to about there where it forks yeah there's but i mean it's so sad it's so dead how long has it been dead uh, to be honest, I ha I kind of saw it was feeling unwell last year, and um, I was hopeful, but obviously with all everything leafed out, I was like, no, that's a goner. Yeah. And you know what? I hate to say it, but the ash tree behind, yep. when you take that out, its balance will be off. Yeah. So you might have to take that down too. Yep. I hate. To, but do you do you not agree with me? Uh, no, I probably would. I was going to say that. Yeah, I think the ash has to come out. Yeah, and it's scarred on the side pretty it, bad as well. So. It's scarred, but also the lean, once the weight of the beach goes on the ground of the roots of the ash, yeah. that's going to lean further out over the road. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're dead right. So the ash will have to come down as well, yeah. sadly. Well, yeah. And the plains tree is fine. Yeah, that's all good. That's nice and healthy, and thankfully that horse chestnut is as well. Well, there's a nice little spot for another tree to go back in. Oh, no, I'll be putting, there will be another beech tree. Because oh, nice. that's a lovely, the crab apple next to you. Yeah. It's a beautiful crab apple and uh, fruits beautifully every uh, year. As you can see now, it's fruiting. Yeah. And it's so beautiful in the spring. It's amazing. You hear all the insects? Yeah. I know you don't hear that often around now, do you? Nope. Definitely not. And that's why I have such a good swallow yeah. bird population. Yeah. It's like when you get out of your vehicle up at my place, everybody's like, the bird song. And I'm it like, sounds like a swarm of bees, but it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. It's just a really healthy population of flies. Look at those. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. That's fresh this year's one, isn't it? Yeah, they're fresh, yeah. Nice. And they're feeding on the old stump. Yep, they're feeding on the old stump. Mm. And what did you call those again? Uh, dryad saddle. What's a. Uh, Seraporus formosus. Yeah, yeah. And what is the slang name? Uh, dryad Saddle is the... Dryad Saddle. Yeah, Dryad Saddle, yeah. I'd never heard of Dryad Saddle. <laughs> yeah. um, and is it an edible one or no? Uh, yeah, when it's fresh like that, it can be, yeah. And what? Do, how would you cook it? Um, I'm not too sure what the best uh, recipe is, but I think it might just be a bit of butter in a pan. And garlic. Yeah, yeah maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually haven't tried it yet, but... Um, well, you should take some home. It, it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can try a few, yeah. and I can give you some eggs to go with it. <laughs> you can have eggs and mushrooms from here. Yeah, we'll try that, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, we'll that'll be interesting well, yeah, uh, to hear your results as well. <laughs>